Now in the last video we looked at the disk kernel which is my recommended way of using a kernel in a desktop system nowadays but let's say you need a manual kernel you've got a reason let's um let me show you a quick way to build a manual kernel without worrying or anything like that so first thing we need to do is emerge the gen 2 sources so it's just emerge verbose ask gen 2 sources also just showing you you don't need to put the uh, app categories in there we hit yes on this Okay, well that's that done. And now, to aid with initram FS creation, this isn't really needed, but it's so easy and gives you so much benefit that you might as well do it. First thing you want to do is emerge Favos Ask Draka. As you can see, I've already got it installed on here, so I'm not going to do it this time, but if you haven't, do install it. And then do a nano flash uh, etc portage package dot use uh, install kernel and type in here sys kernel slash install kernel then the draw cut use flag and then emerge the verbose one one is one shot like this uh, basically what that does is it installs the program it doesn't add it to your world file it's good for hygiene uh, i do have a video on how and when to use one shot this is one of those times and then we type in install kernel okay and you want to rebuild that anyway okay that's that done now what so what this will do is when you run the make install command in your kernel it would automatically call draw cut you never need to worry about it or think about it again do it once do it right and you know it's my motto in life isn't it you know so we've got a kernel installed what do we do now right the first thing to do is to make sure the sim link's set so that's e select kernel list and you can see there that the distribution kernel that we used last time is the one set so this time we need to do a set a one for linux 6.613 gen 2 and now if i do the list again you can see that they've got the asterisks next to the uh the sources so that's the one that Porsche is going to use now as our main kernel when it's compiling against it we then do a cd user source linux and we're inside our kernel directory now we can do the whole compiling yourself by hand and looking like an absolute chad but what's the point we don't need to anymore it's 2024 guys yeah what we do is we run make local sconfig and what this does is it enables everything as um it's built into the kernel that's plugged into your system right now so it does all the hard work for you you don't need to guess you don't need to think it just does it if you want to do it as uh, modules rather than um rather than uh, built in you do local mod config because we're using the inter in ram fs it doesn't really matter it builds in the right stuff that it needs just the boot and then it makes everything else a module so personal preference whichever one you want we'll do local mod config this time we hit run okay if you see these ones just hit enter until you go through and um, probably should read them but most of the time it's just basic stuff you're not really going to care about um i know someone's going to be absolutely kicking themselves when they hear that i'm saying this but you're going to get a working kernel for your system with this You wouldn't have as much as me either, but um, i have run an old kernel because I've got ZFS running and it's kind of annoying me at the moment, so I do need to change it. But that's by the by, in it? Okay. Now, we've got our base config all sorted out, but we don't have a trust to an automatic script, so we do make uh, nconfig. And here we can go and change all the stuff. So we could look at general setup. Uh, we can change a local version here. It's picked up the disk kernel that I was using. So we could either have, we could put Gentoo on the end, 
or you can put your name on the end like this so now it's going to be called 6.63 um, slash gen 2 slash MLO which uh, yeah, it's pretty good you can change all your compression modes here so I'm going to change it to XMZ but yeah it's just a case of going through having a look see if there's anything you want one 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 little speed tip you might like is scrolling down here and you see where it says processor family you can pick a CPU that matches more your system um, in the X8664 um, world it doesn't really matter you're just tapping in you know the the core twos or the newer Xeons um, but if you were doing this on a, an x86 and that you're going to get a lot of more choice and you will get a speed boost out of it it's about the only the only time that doing um it's about the only time when you setting a cpu is actually going to do anything running march on a in your uh c flags or k flags as they're called in this doesn't really matter um, it doesn't do anything uh, there's a actually a, a pretty good mailing list um, out there by um, Linus explaining why he never actually added it okay and we just go through um, the one you probably want to look at is file systems just to make sure you've got everything you want like oh I sometimes use XFS so I'll uh, I'll build that into my kernel as well kind of thing um, and then I don't use butter so I'll remove that you know just just have a look just to make sure everything looks good you can do that for hardware as well just to see but generally speaking everything's good here okay right so that's our kernel configured as you can see it's not a daunting thing so all we need to do is make slash j so if you just run make on its own it will only use one thread if we use the j we can set here so now you can set it to use as many threads as you want so in my case i'm going to use 30. Um, the kernel is one of the best programs for multi-threading out there it flies when you set it right so you can max it out basically um so yeah let's um yeah, let's go for it let's max it out let me show you and away we go There we go that's done next thing we do is make modules underscore install this just puts the modules in the correct places so that'd be a slash lib um 6.63 uh gen 2 mlo so we run gen 2 gen 2 in this case i don't make mistakes i'm not just like the rest of you gen 2 is so good they named its voice and then so that's our kernel wall built in that but now we need to install it so we take make install and as you can see it's running the interam um, fs um, generation as well at the same time and it's going to copy everything into boot for us so if i do ls slash boot you can see now i've got everything there um i've got my gen 2 stuff um i've got my init ram fs all created so i just do my, my grub make config and you know how that works and away you go you, you've, you can reboot and you're in your new kernel and it'll work so once you've tech booted into your kernel you know it all works you've got a solid base and then that's when you can go back in with your make end config and you can start doing your tweaks just so it's all oh, I've, I've, I've missed out my um my connection to my phone or something like that you know or why have i got a wireless um, driver that i'm never going to use let me remove that but yeah this is a very quick way of getting a kernel built and making your life a hell of a lot easier um yeah there's also um other tools out there like a mod mod uh you really shouldn't mumble because i can't understand the word you're saying probed db which basically just monitors your computer constantly uh, i don't know how often it runs i'm guessing it's a um i'm guessing it's just a cron a cron strip script a cron script that um, it just runs periodically just to see what hardware you load into the system and it just builds a database and then when you run it next time it works there's a little bit out of scope for this video but it just makes it more automatic but at that point you probably want to be using the disk kernel anyway because it's doing the same job um, with extra steps but yeah i hope you like this one and um 
please consider subscribing if uh, you haven't already I'm so close to that 1k subs and earning those five dollars a month from YouTube that um, I'd really appreciate it if you could but in the meantime I'll catch you on the next one and uh, keep compiling guys